Okay, whenever the spirit moves you, go ahead and take a deep breath. Think of that first word you're going to say, and you're ready. By a show of hands, how many of us in here have jobs? Everybody in here, right? <laughs> now again, by a show of hands, how many of us like our jobs? So that's quite less than before. It's not a surprise that in this room, a lot of people don't like their jobs. Maybe that's why we are here, studying, getting an education, get a degree so that we can pursue a better job, a job that we like, that a career that we're passionate about. Hello, my name is Noel. I'm studying computer science, and today I will be talking to you about myself so that you can get to know me a little better. For you to get to know me a little better, I will be talking to you about two things, my core values and my future plans. So to start off, I will be talking to you about my, my core values. So, we... so that you can get to know me a little better. My first... To start off, my favorite quote is by my favorite rapper, Kendrick Lamar. He said, stand for something or fall for anything. And at 18 years old, I listened to this song. I was wondering, what, what does this mean, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I realized that I stood for nothing. That's why I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. So I was wasting my time, wasting my life. And I, sooner or later, I realized that I had to have a core value system so that I can, you know, like, like the tree needs the roots. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what the core value system is to me. And my first... Let's finish that uh, simile. Like a tree has roots, yeah. I too needed... My roots. Which were your values, core values. to help you what? Stand sturdy and strong. Ooh, good. Okay, ah, look. The comparison. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Keep going. So the first... One of my value system is God. I know a lot of people have uh, very different religions, but I've read a lot of spiritual books, and what I've come to realize is that God means having a good relationship with oneself. Because if you cannot have a good relationship with yourself, you cannot have a good relationship with others. That's what I've read, and that's what I've come up with. And that is why that is my number one and my value system. Second, second value, you could say it's my family. I'm a big family guy. I grew up with a big family. They're always supportive and they always help me out. They're the reason why I am here today and I just want to be able to give them back everything. You know, the money they spent on me, the time, the wisdom they've given me and I just want to be able to my biggest goal is to retire my mom. She has a four year old daughter of my sister and she doesn't get to see her. She works 10 to 12 hours a day. Graveyard shit. So imagine that. And uh, she doesn't get to see her. Mm -hmm. and that is my biggest drive so that I can get this going. My last value system or value, my value system is contrib contribution. I feel like a lot of successful people, what they do is they contribute. They're very generous with their time and money because they, they work in an abundance of time and money. And I just want, I, I have, what's that word? I have benefited from a lot of nonprofit organizations, like LA's Best. I don't know if you guys are familiar with any of those. I bet the guys are, but I don't know if the, the ladies in the class are. LA's Best, yeah. It's like an Oh, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't know if you all oh, are aware of it, oh. right? If you all, sorry. No, yeah. Are, oh, of these programs but they've helped me out because I didn't have a father figure I didn't have a role model and that kind of kept me off the streets in a way and I want to let's go back kind of in a way did it help you yes, did it, it keep you me. off the streets <laughs> yes. commit to that then give honor to that program let's go back that program you didn't have a father figure and it what it helped me stay off the streets stay out of trouble God. and that's why I want to start my own nonprofit in the future. Give back in any way. Uh, so that comes back in abundance as well. What you give is what you will receive. That's like a law. Very successful law. And to end, I want to talk about my future plans. I talked to you guys about jobs because what I realized, not putting down jobs, but if I work for somebody else for the rest of my life, I won't have the time or the money to contribute 
to help out my family the way I want to help them out. So in the future, I will pursue a business after I graduate because that <laughs> aligns with my core value system. It will help me develop myself because all businessmen, they have to pretty much on their own. They have to work by themselves, develop themselves, manage themselves, and I want to be in that position so that it aligns with my value system, like I said. And to conclude, um, I think that you know, conclude pretty, that conclusion, no, that, you know, Keep going. To conclude, you did it. To Yay. Conclude today, What'd you tell us about? I talked to you guys about my No, not the guys. You got it. I talked to you all about the value system, my future plans, so that you can get to know me a little better, and I hope it'll help. Hello. Hello.